You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your watch. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Oh, Daisy's young beau Donald's in the parlor waiting to take Daisy to the country club dance. Oh, looks like Daisy's finally ready. Come on, Daisy. Okay, Donald. Oh, gee, I'm all excited. This dance is going to be terrific. But uh, I hope you won't mind. I... What's the matter? Ma wants us to get some does on our way. Does? Well, can't you get it tomorrow? No, we got to have does for doing the breakfast dishes. You mean go dancing with a soap? No, Donald. You know does is a wonderful new kind of soap. Well, Ma just can't get along without it. Because does does everything in her wash, and it has everything for dishes, too. What do you mean, everything? Can it rumba? Listen, Smarty. I mean does make suds that stand up till the last dish is done. It cuts grease like six feet, and it's kinder to hand. I bet those does suds don't stand up and wait for you the way I do. Oh, don't they? <laughs> well, even when I get to the greasy frying pans, those suds are still standing up. I don't keep adding soap, either. Imagine me lugging dust to the dance. I'd do it for you, Donald. Wait, you should see how fast does get rid of tough grease in less than half a minute and without any hard scalding. And does is just wonderful to my hands. Feel how smooth they are. Mm, they are soft, green cake. That does. It's kind of the hands. You know, if you stop and get that does, I'll dance every dance with you. You will? Oh, gee, what are we waiting for? I think does is just wonderful. Ah, uh, you bet does is wonderful for dishes. Why, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does is the only one of them that gives you all this. Makes studs that stand up till the last dish is done, cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to your hands. Better change to does, D-U-Z. It has everything for dishes. And now the Goldberg. What makes Molly Goldberg particularly happy is that her neighbors never do things half-heartedly. No, having forgiven Grace and George their cheating and swindling, the people of Lastonbury have outdone themselves in generosity. The result? A little house on a hill, some furnishings, and a job for George. But the fact remains that these two must have companionship and understanding, although they have done nothing to deserve it. Let's see. Thank you, Mr. Hanley. You want to go up and sit on the porch, Grace? I'd like to go up and see the house before giving us again, George. Oh, it's a big climb up that hill again. No, no, it isn't. The only way I know it's a hill is because there's a view. My feet seem to go right up, and I'm there, and there it is. It's a pretty house. It's the most beautiful house in the world. And I want to run up and make sure it's still there. It is, isn't it, George? <laughs> sure it is, Grace. Are you sure everything is the way it seems? I mean, maybe we're crazy, the both of us. Crazy or, or dreaming or both. You see how mysterious this is, George. Can't you see it? Well, there's only one thing I see. And that's you. Well, you don't understand, George. You don't understand the way I do. I did everything I ever did. I, I was everything I ever was because... Because I wanted one single thing. That was to be safe. To feel safe in the world. To have security. And the picture I had in my mind was a house. A house for us. A house for us and for our kids. And I did everything I could to get it. And nothing I did turned out. And then when, when everything was all lost, look, we have it. It's magic. It sure is like magic. I, I keep thinking, what thing did we do? I, I mean, like the kid in the story, when you rub the right lamp, the spirit appears. What did we do that was just the right thing? Meeting Mrs. Goldberg. Oh, no, you, you don't understand, George. What did she do to us that made us do the very thing that would bring us what we wanted the most? I know. What, George? The day I decided to come back and face the music. 
day you decided to be here and face it with me. We did one right thing, Grace. And after that, we, we couldn't spoil it. Maybe. But I tried. You didn't try. That was just the way a thing happened. You don't change all at once, but little by little. The magic comes when you see it's happened. Let's go up and look at the house, George. I want to stand under the roof, surrounded by the bare wall. Just stand there and hold your hand. And I can just kind of stand there and listen. For what, Grace? Into the future. I can kind of listen. Hear everything we dreamed of shaking itself up and getting ready to be really, really hard. Oh, darling. <laughs> Brutal thing. What of it? You're my wife, aren't you? Oh, gee, Grace, I'm happy. Uh, uh, let's go over and tell Mr. Hanley we're going up to the house, huh? Mm -hmm. Take my hand. Okay. Up and sat a while. Uh, no, uh, in a little while, Mr. Hanley. Is it all right if we go up and look at the house again? It's yours to look at just as much as you have a mind to. It's going to be a lot better when there's some paint on the outside and the inside. We won't be long. Mind how you walk up the hill, Grace. Walk slowly. I'll be careful, Mrs. Hanley. We'll call you when it's time to eat. Okay. Be careful, Sit down, Mary. I've got things to do indoors, Bruce. Nobody's gonna do it but you, so they'll be waiting for you any time you get ready. I say you ain't ready yet. I bet that's the first time those two people laughed like that since they were kids. It's nice going to have a baby around here, not having one of our own. Well, we've had plenty of calves. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess a woman misses not having children more than a man does. Kind of more personal with her. I'm the kind of a man who can look at a fact right in the face when it says no to me and then turn around and push it out of my mind. I don't mean I don't feel when I'm hurt or licked or disappointed. Just means that I start thinking from there on. And I made up my mind not to regret not having children. It'd mean more than a man could bear if he had to keep regretting it. What are you looking for, Bruce? Uh, had a pipe. Sit still. I'll get it. I've got to go and walk and look at my victuals anyway. I hope the Goldbergs get here before everything is spoiled. They will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Darling. One, darling, you can't love one, can't love one, have any fun, darling, mm -hmm. darling, you can't love two, darling, you can't love two, you can't love two, cause that kind of love won't do, darling, you can't love two. Mm, there they are. Goldberg, here they come. Right? Did oh, I tell yes. you to be on time? Oh. Come along. Go on, lay down there, chum. He won't hurt you, Mrs. Goldberg. Get away from my dress. Oh, dirty. Oh, Glad you got here. Rosalie? Well, I got to have a dress on him. The dog jumped on me. <laughs> Get yourself a rocker, Mr. Goldberg. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Oh, we walked the top bar, me. <laughs> Beautiful. Grand evening. Where's Grace and George? They went up to look at the little house again. That's the third time they've been running up and down that hill to look at the house. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it, Mr. Goldberg. How do you mean, Booze? About George and Grace. You think they're going to come out all right? Huh, Jack? Ask my wife, Booze, what I said. What? Give a person a half a chance, and he'll come out on top. From the very beginning, I have faith. Hello? Who's the hello? Oh, Grace! George! Go 
go on and sing something. Sing, Bruce. Hmm? So they won't think we're talking about them. Sing something so they wouldn't think we're talking what? about them. Oh, yeah. We don't want anybody to think we're talking about them because right. of everything. Go on, Mary. Anything, you start. Anything. <laughs> start, Mary. Start. Oh, darling, you can't love but one. Now, Darling, you can't love it one. Can't love one. Oh, you can't love Don't one. Don't they sing? Have any fun. Darling, you can't love one. Can't love one. Darling, you can't love two. Oh, my. Darling, you can't love two. Oh, you can't love two. Cause that kind of love won't do. Darling, you can't love two. Darling, you can't love three. All together. Darling, you can't love three. Three. Three, three, you can't love three can't and love three, still be no. true to me. Darling, you can't love three. Darling, you can't love four. Darling, you can't love four. Oh, you can't love four and go with me anymore. Darling, you can't love four. Darling, you can't love six. Darling, you can't love six. Oh, you can't love six. Cause that kind of love don't mix. Oh, hey, Grace. George, come on. Come on, help us out, George. We need an alto. Come on. Sit down, darling. Sing. Right out on the stoop and sing with it. Everybody sing. Darling, you can't love nine. Darling, you can't love nine. Oh, you can't love nine and still be mine. So, as George and Grace come up the steps and walk into the song everyone is singing, they are, in a way, welcomed into the life they found so hard to get. And Molly, well, Molly is just brimming with happiness. Even Jake, although he keeps a wary eye to protect the peace which he knows he is bound to lose soon. For a quiet evening with the Goldbergs is a sure sign that something is brewing around the corner. You know, it's probably just as well we don't know ahead of time how things are going to work out. Take the fix Unky Dozen got into yesterday. He told me... Uh, I was going to help Ma Dozen with the wash, and so I put a box of does in the washing machine and started it up. Uh -huh. Well, nothing happened. <laughs> Good gosh, I forgot to open the box. Well, you do have to open the dust box first. But once you give this new kind of soap a chance, it'll do everything in the wash. Work clothes, towels to colored rayon slips. Why does is the only leading wash day soap that combines so much safety for those nice colors, along with so much cleaning power for grimy overalls and unsurpassed whiteness for towels. Even in the toughest wash, does does everything. And friends, remember this is wartime, and all soaps contain vital war materials. So help make does go further. Soak clothes in clear, cool water before washing in does does. See that every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg. While Molly plays house for Grace, a little storm is gathering at her own home. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your watch.